right, y'all. So where do we even begin or start? From Danny Lay being accused of copying Summer Walker to the baby having a fallout with his own artist, K Kilo, and her going on live actually exposing him and everything that went down. This is all just messy to say the least. But before we get into the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button as well so you can stay notified every time I drop a video for you guys to check out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, y'all. So recently, Danny Lay dropped her music video for her new single called Dead to Me. And a lot of people were saying that they felt like she was trying to copy Summer Walker's musical style and some of her video aesthetics as well. Now, granted, there is some similarities, but I don't think that Danny Lay was trying to actually copy Summer Walker. They both have their own different, distinctive, aesthetically pleasing looks and musical sounds and artistic directions. So yes, they are very similar, but they're also very different in their own unique and special ways when it comes to their music and their artistry and their videos and performances, such as Danny Lay incorporating dance and all almost everything that she does. I personally think that people just weren't used to this kind of music that Danny is now putting out, but because she is now a new mom and a single mom at that and no longer with her baby daddy, the baby, after a very public breakup, um, I think that she is going in a different musical direction because she has different things to talk about now. So yes, maybe it is safe to say that Danny is seeming to sound a little bit more like Summer Walker, but that's because she is now going through a lot of things that Summer Walker went through as well, not even a whole year before Danny, such as becoming a single mother to her daughter, as well as having a very public nasty breakup with her baby daddy London on the track. So even though people are comparing her to Summer by saying, okay, Summer Walker, or saying things such as this is Summer 2.0, or going on to say other things like give Summer her credit at this point, or lastly, saying things like, she want to be Summer so bad. But besides those comments, I did find some things that had logical points. Someone said she was humiliated publicly. What was she supposed to do as an artist? Not talk about it in her songs? And plus, before Summer Walker, you had Mary J. Blige, who always used to talk about her heartbreak in her songs. That's why she is the queen of hip hop soul till this day. So Summer didn't start anything that wasn't done before. And I have to say, this is all facts and someone else also pointed out some logical points as well saying it's the sound and production of this song the message has been sung for decades but the singing style is all the same now so for that i can see why people talk but good she is releasing the energy in whatever way it is so like i said earlier y'all i don't think or believe that danny lay is trying to really copy everything that summer does i just think that the overall production of the song is very similar to summer walker's style i just think that it's very difficult not to sound similar when you're going through pretty much the exact same thing that other person went through. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. Now, speaking of Danny Lay's baby daddy, the baby, he is once again in some hot water and drama because his artist that he signed to his label, K Kilo, is now exposing him. Now, the rapper the baby is signed as an artist under Interscope Records, but he also has his own record label now that he started called Billion Dollar Baby. And the female rapper known as K Kilo is one of his artists that he signed to his label. Now, K Kilo is now claiming that since December of 2021, she allegedly has been disrespected and belittled and treated unfairly and unprofessionally by the baby. Now, for the past few months, the fans have noticed that she has not been seen publicly with the baby and her other label mates. And during a recent live, she addressed the reason why. Me, when I signed, I didn't know about nothing. I really signed to him for guidance and to know what to do because I didn't know what to do. The reason why I wasn't dropping music was because... I was following the lead, like, you know what I'm saying? I was waiting for her to tell me when to drop. But I'm not gonna lie, I signed thinking I'm gonna learn a lot, which I did learn a lot. Now, the cons from it was like my first Rolling Loud, my first Rolling Loud um, before I went on stage, probably like an hour or two before I went on stage, I was I was told that I was an ancient artist. I was told that um, I don't work hard enough. I was told that I wasn't good enough. So imagine it's me in my hotel room. It's me, my dancers, they dance coach, and my DJ. And I'm in there bawling my eyes out because a mother that I look up to, my own CEO, just belittled me and told me how much of an ancient artist I am. And this is my first rolling live. 
You know what I'm saying? This is my first Rolling Loud. And, and it just really fucked me up because now I'm on stage with that replaying in my head back and over, over and over and over and over and over and over. How, how, how I don't work hard enough, how I'm lazy, how I'm complacent, how I'm not this and how I'm not this. This was my first Rolling Loud. This was supposed to be the, 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 the time of my life. You know what I'm saying? And so it really hurt my feelings. It really fucked me up. So later on, you see me get on stage with him. You know what I'm saying? But we really wasn't cool. Like I really wasn't my feelings because you just belittled me. And I worked my ass off. You know what I'm saying? So I still get on stage. I still go do whatever I need to do. But mind y'all, I really didn't even want to be there because it was like, you just belittled me. So it's time I go on the road 50 cent and have fun, all of that, right? It's time for me to drop my tape. And I'm asking, like, what we gonna do? Like, what we gonna do for my tape? Like, what's the ideas? And everything is getting left on me. Like, I'm like, what? how we gonna roll it out? Like, I don't wanna just drop my tape. How we gonna roll my tape out? Like, how are we gonna do this? I wasn't getting no help. Like, I'm hitting them up every day. Like, what are we gonna do? I scheduled my own photo shoot for the cover art. I'm asking for ideas for the cover art. It was never nothing. I scheduled my own cover art, paid for it, got my hair done, got my makeup done. You know what I'm saying? Like I still did it by myself. Did the cover art, finished the cover art or whatever, and um, was ready to just drop the tape. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to drop the tape. It's no back and behind, and I'm over here calling like, okay, how can I get my stuff promoted? Like, I, I wanted to promote my album instead of just, well, my tape, instead of just dropping it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted promotion behind it, because I never had promotion behind nothing that I did. So, that ended up not happening, because it was just like, I mean, I don't think, I don't think that you need to be doing all that, da, da, da. so the tape drops. Couldn't really push my tape like that. Like, okay, well, come on, let's 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 shoot some videos. We supposed to shoot some videos. Um, I'm 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 texting them for three months straight, and I'm just like, I want to shoot some videos. 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 Never shot no videos. And then, still after that, a couple of weeks later, his birthday came up. I still went supported the birthday party, even though I was feeling how I was feeling. And that's when he basically just told me to to my face on um, on. Um, why he didn't support me no more, why he didn't do this, why he didn't do that. And he just felt like I would tweet too much, like I would tweet like my feelings too much or I'm too green, you letting the world know um, too much what's going on with you. Like, say so, okay, say so if I was having a bad day and I'd just be like, I guess I gotta do everything myself. He'll feel like that I'm, I'm trying to throw it at the label, but it's just like, I, I do have a boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? Like, I am, I, I do have siblings that I argue with, I do have a family, like I could be talking about anything, but he'll take it as if I was talking about the label. And then so ever since December until now, I've been operating as a, as a, as an independent artist. I didn't get no backing, I didn't get no love, I didn't get no none of that. I'm not out because I want to tweet like, damn, I'm doing everything by myself when I was. So, you know, like, I don't care if, if I try to paint me as if, oh, well, you just really wet. I'm not wet. The motherfucker ain't want me to make rap songs. The motherfucker wanted me to go pop. So I'm listening to you. I'm listening. I'm listening to the that I look up to. You know? So, I'd rather just get this out the way now so y'all can stop asking me. I'm ready to just move on drop my music and just move accordingly. Ooh.